33 years ago today, February 17th, I was born. Ta da! Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carl. Happy birthday to you. So, my sister has already gone to work. And so it's just me and my mom here and Oscar the dog um, for my birthday cakes situation. For your 33rd. For my 33rd. I told him about a lot. Yay! Oh. Time to open my card. Yes. Time to open the card. Of course, you have to feel it first, huh? I didn't feel it. <laughs> oh. Away, Something like that, okay. Oh. Flash everyone that birthday smile. <laughs> <laughs> Just try not to flash something else. <laughs> AMC gift card to the movies as my gift for my mother and my sister. Yes. Which is what I plan to go do today for my birthday to go see movies. So. Right. That's very helpful. Thank you, Mom. All right, so I had my cake, a little bit of cake, birthday cake. Now I'm off to go to Simolina's, which is where I always go for my birthday. So I just arrived in the parking garage for Clearview Mall. Clearview Mall, it's kind of a small mall here in the New Orleans area. Anyway, there's a Simolina's downstairs and an AMC theater through over here. I found out the parades had been canceled here over in Metairie because of the rain. It's a very cold and dreary day. The type of parades I'm talking about is Mardi Gras parades. It's a start about two, yeah, two weeks before the actual Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras being Fat Tuesday in French. Today was like the first weekend before week and a half from now. And that's usually the case on my birthday, right around Mardi Gras. Last year, it was a week after Mardi Gras. The year before that, it was on Mardi Gras day. And today, it's a couple weeks before Mardi Gras. Kind of like the pain of my childhood. Always having to deal with um, friends and stuff never coming to birthday parties because they were always at uh, Mardi Gras parades or balls or galas, things like that. A friend of mine, he's working on the NBA All-Star Weekend, which is this weekend. So not only do you have parades this weekend, but you have the NBA All-Stars. I think it's the NBA All-Stars. So there's tons of stuff going on around my birthday. So. I'm all alone for it, which I've gotten used to. What is this? I feel like this is one of those jobs where you have too much fun at. Oh, too much fun. <laughs> Every time too much fun. That was a drone party thing. You, you can fly those little drones that don't have cameras and you can go through like an obstacle course. This is not for kids. So that's where I'm dining at. Similinas. So at Similinas, I always get the same, same thing. I usually get garlic cheese bread as an appetizer and I get the Parmesan chicken salad. That's the main. Course. The only day I don't, I will work on a Christmas holiday, I will work on Thanksgiving, New Year's, New Year's Eve, but I've always, every job, every, since probably 8th grade or ninth grade, I've always made sure, you know, not go to school that day on my birthday. I've always made sure not to, ask, I always ask off for that day for work, whether I was working at a grocery store or a retail outlet, I've always made sure I get my day of birth. Right, no charge provolone fontina. And I'm just going to move it under your seat. Parmesan chicken salad, no charge right. cheese. And I'll press a little fire button when I'm ready to. Okay. Right one. And, and what's this stuff over here? Oh, I'm able to swipe your card at the table. Oh, okay. Yep. So that's a new like tablet system for like taking orders and stuff like that. You can even swipe your credit card. I don't think there's any way to eat bread without making a huge crumb mess. I've already knocked off a lot of it on myself. It's my appetizer. 
garlic cheese bread, so yummy. Similarly, hook me up with a nice little discount for my birthday. Help me out. Since I didn't want the dessert. Kudos, Ethan. Thank you. Head across the river to the West Bank Theater and go see my movie. At least that's the plan. So I just got done watching Split um, at AMC and besides the fact that it, I'm just going to say it, connects one M. Night Shyamalan movie with this movie and a bigger M. Night Shyamalan universe is freaking awesome. The movie overall, it was really cool watching that those characters transform with with uh, James McAvoy. I think what's really interesting is the, the composition of the movie, the way shots are composed. To cre like there's little shots where like a room, like a girl's on one side, two girls on the other, and there's just like barred going uh, on the wall going through and it splits the shot dead center, like a split. And you, sometimes you only see characters kind of like in this split way, like the half their face is being covered by something or scared by something. And you start to, I started seeing those and that I think was very clever use of framing. Sometimes some characters were heads were like really odd framing, like heads were chopped off and, or like chopped off here, like really weird framing to create this weird suggestive type of language in the shot composition. Very interesting stuff. Now I'm in Walmart. See if they have what I need. What I need. Fluoride. Well. Got the stuff. Um, I guess that's it for my birthday.